Hey, in this video, we're going to show you how to remove the CD player on a 2004 Chrysler Crossfire. Uh, you're going to need these two tools. They are they're sold online. They're for radio removal. Not really sure on the name, but you need these specialty tools. So you insert them into the inserts. You make sure they click in. And then the radio just slides out. All right, now just unplug the plugs. There's the button on the driver's side that you press and it comes out. Okay, and let me show you how the tools work. All right, so this is what these tools do when you insert. They press down the locking tabs on both sides and allows you to pull out the CD player. So it just slides out basically. Okay. That's all it is. And this is a factory CD player. To remove the CD player, there's going to be Phillips screws right underneath. Let me try to get a better view. Okay. And then you have another one right here. Okay, so we removed two Phillips screws. All right, so now we're gonna be removing this trim. We're using this plastic tool. Uh, it's a plastic wedge. I'm just kind of wedge it in through all the cracks all around. Just kind of be patient with it, kind of work through the clips. You could use a flathead, but just kind of be careful not to damage it. Um, this one kind of, the plug gets stuck once in a while. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Usually they're kind of harder to unplug. If you're just removing the climate control, you're not going to have to unplug all these. Uh, we're just going to continue from this video, kind of removing the whole center console. So we're just going to show you how to unplug this, all the buttons and switches.
end up ripping this one out. Um, I'll show you how to remove them once I get the plug out, just to show you, because they are kind of hard to pull them out. There's no button, you have to basically pull it out. Grip it and pull it. Alright, so that's the one that broke off. Um, try to use pliers kind of get a better grip because these are pretty hard to pull out usually so most plugs usually have buttons that you press and it unlocks it these do not as far as I know <laughs> 